up guys, David over at Prescott Valley Music again. So a lot of people have been asking us to do a video about us actually servicing and working on guitars. And so we're just gonna kind of go over what we do normally. Um, this guitar right here belongs to a customer. And as you can see, it is pretty dirty. Right, Trenton? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'd say they kind of let it go. I definitely so, won't be shredded on that fretboard. Uh, you could kind of tell that the strings need to be replaced because if you can look closely, they, they are all oxidized. They have all this rust on them everywhere. So you see all the the cheese on the fingerboard. The, the frets are nice and rusty. All the dust collects in there. And yeah, we're going to have to do a lot of work to it. But... We're gonna go ahead and put some fresh strings on it and make sure it's nice and set up and nice and intonated. We're probably gonna to have to give it a neck adjustment. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy what we have to show ya. All right. And we're back. So first thing I usually do is take off the back plates. Uh, definitely tighten that back plate for the neck. Uh, from time to time, even doing nothing, those bolts get really kind of loose. So. And then I'll take off the strings. In this particular guitar, I needed to use a toothbrush because the, the rust was so bad. So I got some WD-40, used a toothbrush, and really scrubbed all that nastiness out of there. Um, when I took off the strings, I did notice that the pickups had a layer of that cheese on it. So I needed to definitely take care of that. That was probably the most disgusting part of it. Um, yeah, uh, definitely those fret ends needed to be taken care of. With the right tools and the right knowledge, it's it's easy to do, but you can really mess up the guitar if you're not careful. So just something to think about for all you techs out there. All right, so now finishing up the fret ends. Um, basically, after I cleaned off all that gunk on the cheese or gunk on the fretboard, the result, look at that guys, compared to what it was before, literally night and day. As you can see, it's still a little bit of gunk on there, but I will definitely, nothing compared to what it was before. So after this, after I shot that scene, um, I just went ahead and double checked it and got all the excess little stuff off there. But wow, night and day, guys. That's a playable fretboard right there. As soon as that gunk gets built up so bad, it just doesn't play that well. So then, you string her back up. Make sure everything is all good. All right, here it is, guys. So you can tell, <clears throat> no more finger cheese on the pick on the fretboard. Frets are nice and shiny. Brand new strings. Cleaned up pretty nice. Just a couple little dusty things. But it's been restored. There you go. Bam. She's ready for the stage. I mean, there's scratches and stuff, but to use guitar, it's kind of expected. But that fretboard came out nice. All right. Well, she's all done there, Trenton. Gorgeous. Ready for the stage, ready for the practice. Sometimes what happens is 
the little there's a little like black stuff that develops right here on the neck it's called stand rash and um, I did have to take some of that stuff off it was kind of just all rashed up but um, you get some of this um, naphtha fluid which is essentially like lighter fluid it, it does a great job and not messing up any of the finishes but it takes off all the good stuff so all right hope you guys enjoyed peace